The November midterm election is less than four weeks away, and today we're taking a closer look at the race for San Diego City Council District 2. The area includes the Midway District, Linda Vista, Claremont, and Point Loma, as well as many beach communities such as PB, Mission Beach, and Ocean Beach, or OB. There are two candidates on the ballot for District 2, Dr. Linda Lucas and incumbent Dr. Jennifer Campbell, who we talked to in our last hour. And Dr. Linda Lucas is joining us now around the table to talk about the issues and your candidacy for District 2. So thank you for joining us. Ah, thank you for inviting me. Well, you describe yourself as not a career politician. The doctor in front of your name is for dentistry. So what makes you think that you're bringing something to the table uh, that uh, will help District 2? I've worn a lot of different hats, and I, and I currently wear a lot of different hats. So I have experience in healthcare, academics, and business. So I am a dentist, I'm a former registered nurse, I'm an educator, a realtor, and a small business owner. And so I, I come with a lot of practical, comprehensive experience. Well, there's a lot of issues in your district, um, in particular, that have been somewhat controversial. And one of them is the short-term vacation rental regulations, and your opponent, um, Dr. Jennifer Campbell spearheaded regulations, some calling too aggressive. What is your stance on that issue, and how do you differ from her? Differ, differ from her in that regard? Sure. So thanks for that. So um, I will say that I there is an ordinance on the books. So what we're going to have to do is let the ordinance play out to see how successful this regulation of these short-term rentals really is, and. I believe that the success of the program will depend on if it's enforced, right? So um, in my block, I have four short-term vacation rentals. Two of them, you would never know they're vacation rentals unless you just watch the, the, the traffic. The other two are, are pretty disruptive to our community. And so in order to um, live harmoniously, we must enforce um, the laws on the books. So you don't necessarily disagree with them, you just aren't sure how it's going to be carried out or executed? Well, so I am, I, I respect property owners' rights. That said, we must preserve our communities. Uh, do I agree with them? I would rather not have four in my block, but at the same time, I understand it. Well, let me ask you also about the other one, because that really affects, I would say, more the beach communities. Mm -hmm. um, but also, there is a whole sports arena redevelopment area in the Midway District. And uh, Dr. Jennifer Campbell supports um, lifting the ban on that height requirement. And you have a different take. And why is that? And, and why are you supporting that side of it? Yeah, so, so I do oppose lifting that height restriction for a couple of reasons. Um, the primary reason, though, is that we don't have the infrastructure to support what we currently have in that area, let alone an increase in density. Our electrical grid, grid is already taxed. We don't know where our water is coming from. Our traffic congestion is horrible in that area. Um, and the redevelopment wouldn't address any of those things? So it's interesting you ask that, because when I sat through the development planning meetings, I specifically asked that question, where is the plan? the infrastructure plan. And I was told um, there isn't one quite yet. OK, and, and what is your um, um, proposal to address homelessness? Because that's something we're asking every single candidate, because it is top of mind of most voters across San Diego County. So are there specific proposals you would get behind? Absolutely. So when I entered this race, I had three priority issues. Homelessness has always been my primary issue that I want to address. And I think we have to take a firm uh, yet compassionate approach. I believe that we need a two-pronged approach. One, um, a very temporary, short-term now approach, if you will, to help these individuals get off, this, get off the sidewalks, get out of the canyons, get out of the parks, and into more of a structured, safe, sanitary um, environment so that then we can, our outreach can better service them. And so you're proposing new, more shelters? not only more shelters, but um, services available to them. And, and if we can't locate uh, appropriate shelters for them, I think we can um, coordinate them in, in, in where they are, in their encampments, but on publicly owned land. And I know that this is your first foray into politics, and you brought some mailers that um, you wanted to address. Yes. So if I may um, show these mailers. We're almost out of time. But Sorry. 
Um, I just want to say, recently my opponent um, sent out these massive mailings that are false, that are insulting and disparaging, not only to me personally, but to me professionally, and to my community, so many members in my community, friends, family, and neighbors. And um, what specifically in them, you can hold them up if you want to, and... You know, uh... <laughs> and you, you know, are a Republican. Um, are, are you somebody that is a part of the MAGA, MAGA ultra conservative wing? Is as I see one of the Make America Great Again hats, or what did you want to do? Absolutely not. I'm being uh, portrayed as a right wing extremist, and that couldn't be farther from the truth. All right. Well, with that, thank you so much for joining us, Dr. Linda Lucas. She is running for the City Council seat of District 2. We appreciate you coming in and giving viewers and, and voters an idea of where you're coming from. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you.